I'm Lars. Hey, and I'm Josh, and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for being here. And while you're at it, hit that like and subscribe button. Por favor. <laughs> Today we're gonna do something special. We're gonna do an official get to know us video using some of the questions you asked on Instagram. Yeah, and we thought what better way to kick off our get to know us video than getting to know us on a family vacation. And so we made like a little fun clip on our family vacation this Christmas to California and Arizona. And afterwards, we're gonna get right to the questions. Yay! It was the ending of 2018, and Lars and I had just finished a crazy year filled with a retreat in Greece, lots of wedding shoots, and one messy house. Hey Lars, did you remember to send out that email? Oh crap, I forgot to send that. Hey mom, what's up? Hi, how are you guys doing? Great, how are you guys doing? Great. Well, what about if we spend Christmas together as a family in sunny San Diego? No way, Lars and I would love to come. Sounds like a blast. Oh good. Well, we'll see you there then. All right, see you later. So, before we knew it, Lars and I hopped on a plane from Honolulu to San Diego to meet the rest of the Reboldi clan. After the hugs and catching up, we naturally started a family pillow fight. It wasn't long before my Argentine dad pulled us out of the hotel and onto a sailboat for a quick ride around the San Diego Bay. This is a little more competitive. My dad grew up in Argentina racing sailboats as a kid, so every time he gets the chance, he rents a sailboat for a day and takes us out, telling us stories of his childhood. Before we knew it, our time with the Reboldis was coming to an end, and it was time to hop on another plane and go to Arizona to visit my side of the family. This New Year's, we made plans to go to Arizona for my cousin's wedding. Dream about you and me forever. I woke up with the feeling like the city doesn't sleep in So, naturally, we started the day off playing around with cover your asses so I could go to bed a millionaire. We not only got to go to my cousin's wedding, but we got to film and photograph it as well. They are so, so cute. My mom took us around to her favorite spots growing up in Arizona. Hiking Camelback Mountain was definitely a booty burner. It started off cold and now we're hot. It's been hiking a lot. We can see all 360 degree views at this spot. Just walking around, it's pretty cool. This is my first time I've ever seen you in person kissing a girl. How was it, Lars? So fun. Did you struggle? No. I'm strong. <laughs> so fun. Time to go. And we're back in Hawaii. So it's actually kind of a chilly day here in Hawaii. We have our little sweaters on. It's been like a randomly cold week. But keep it warm. I sleep with like three blankets. 
<laughs> we're babies. It's not that cold though. <laughs> Hope you guys like that little clip we put together. And now we're gonna answer some of the questions you guys had for us on Instagram. Okay. Let's get started. How old are you? Right now I am 28 and in two months I'll be 29. I just turned 27 like a week and a half ago. For old geezers. <laughs> the next question is how did you guys meet? So this is probably like our most asked question. We get asked what's our love story a lot. And so we actually made a separate video about our love story. We'll link it below. But it's worth watching because it was a journey. Yeah. But well worth it. <laughs> yeah, basically a long friend zone period and little hope, but I made it out victorious. <laughs> what do you guys love most about each other? Lars is actually the kindest and most amazing person in the whole world. You may think <laughs> by seeing her pictures that she looks very sweet and in real life it only gets sweeter so it's pretty crazy but she is the most sweet person in the entire world. Aww. There's so much that I love about Josh. He is the most selfless person. He always puts other people before himself like even strangers in the street like he's just always looking out for people and also I love how you're just yourself and you're so confident in who you are and you're not afraid to just be goofy and he's actually really hilarious. <laughs> What's a funny quirk that you do? Well a funny quirk about Lars. <gasps> oh no. Lars always forgets to bring her towel to the shower. So basically she's True. she's about <laughs> done with her shower and she's like, uh, can you bring me a towel? And um, so <laughs> I just always bring her a towel at the end. I just know. It's like a habit now. I just know. Okay, Lars, you're going to need your towel at the end of your shower. <laughs> He's the best. I'm a very forgetful person. I think every day I forget where I put my hairbrush and where I put my bra. And I'm always like, Josh, where did you put my bra? Where did, did you put my hairbrush anywhere? Like, always asking, like, thinking, you know, he would put it somewhere because he uses that all the time. <laughs> Okay, Josh is like pretty perfect. <laughs> so a quirk about Josh is he's like very particular about some things like <laughs> like like recipes. He has to like be like he, like measure it to like a T. Like everything has to be like a perfect measurement. And I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. You gotta get that recipe right. <laughs> if you just throw whatever's in there, you're not sure if you have the right I'm recipe. I'm like the opposite. I like don't even measure things. Like throw it in. He's like, wait, did you make that? I'm like, oh no, I didn't make sure it's you. How did you know your spouse was the one? I go into this a little bit in the video about our love story. Our love story. We met on a blind date, and when I drove up to her house, I remember sitting there, I was waiting for her to come out, and she comes <laughs> out of the house, and it was like seriously love at first sight. I saw Lauren, and I was like, this is the girl of my dreams. She's like drop dead gorgeous, <laughs> but. I was like, I hope she has a good personality, but afterwards I found out that her personality was like <laughs> a million, infinity amazing. Aww. So um, <laughs> basically for me, it was love at first sight, but for Lars, <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, I think for me it took a little bit longer, but something that helped me know that Josh was the one was like a little bit of advice I was given once to look at how a man treats his mom is how he's gonna treat you. And I was out here in Hawaii and going to school with his sisters and we were good, I was good friends with his sisters and he just treated his sisters so sweetly, it was so cute. And I could just tell how much like they looked up to him and adored him. And I could just tell like, like he's a keeper. He's, he's so sweet with his sister. <laughs> And we just became better and better friends before we were like romantic and I just want I've always said I want to marry my best friend and I just felt like we were so close <laughs> and just I don't know we believe in God and so just praying about it I felt really good about marrying him so I think it was like a combination of a lot of things like maybe not love at first sight but a lot of too sweet by you. <laughs> I was love at first sight she was love at like 
100 science. <laughs> when do you want to have kids? Okay, yeah, this is a question I get asked a lot and I totally realize that not everybody reads all my posts, but I have been open about that we have gone through two miscarriages and it's been hard on us, but we're just trying to remain um, hopeful and prayerful that we'll, we'll be able to have kids soon and just trying to trust in God's timing and tell the heavens open. Yeah, so praying and hoping that we'll have kids soon, so. How many kids do you want to have? <laughs> Lars wants nine kids. I used to say I wanted nine kids because I I just like loved babies and like little kids all growing up. I like loved babysitting and so I was like, I want nine babies. But the older I've gotten, I've realized that that might be a little much to handle. And so I've limited the number to like wanting four or five kids. But I mean, I want to have a big family. Yeah, so I'm like, usually I'm thinking like two or three, but maybe we could pop out four. Just pop them out? I mean, we'll just take it one kid at a time and see what God gives us. <laughs> what makes you happy and what keeps you going? Like Lars said before, we, we believe in God and um, so we're pretty active in our church. And so that makes us happy. We really enjoy spending time with our family and friends. Also, working and doing meaningful work, we do a lot of photo and video, and we really enjoy creating videos and <laughs> creating memories through video. So what makes me happy? Finding purpose in life, getting out of my comfort zone always leads to happiness, and trying to find something you can serve, and just being with uplifting people, uplifting friends, people that build you up, Family, I love my family so so much. Yeah. Oh, and Josh, you make me happy. Oh, good. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. What a what a coincidence. Because you make me number, happy. He's my number. He's number one happy for sure. <laughs> what keeps you going? Well, I listen to a lot of books and podcasts that are very like motivational, pretty much daily. Listening to uplifting things and uh, motivational things helps keep us going. He is a podcast guru, so if you ever need podcast suggestions, Josh is your, he's the, he's the guy. <laughs> what keeps me going? Focusing on a blessing if I'm going through like a hard thing, I just try and focus on something good and practice gratitude, trying to focus on the good instead of the bad. It, it can be easier said than done. I think that will help you keep going through the hard times. <laughs> if you weren't doing photo and video, what would you be doing? That's a good question. Well, I remember in college, I was thinking of what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I wrote down three things. I wrote down internet entrepreneur, videographer, and rock star. <laughs> so if I wasn't doing photo and video, then I'd be an internet entrepreneur or a rock star. <laughs> I love it. Honestly, I would be a singer. That's like my dream. In my, in my dreams, I want to be a singer. <laughs> I just like love the idea of being on stage and just having like a crowd go wild. She wants to be Taylor Swift. Yeah, I do. I, I just want to live one day. I just want to live one day in Taylor Swift's life. That would be my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I just wish I had a good voice. I would totally be a singer. I just want to like write songs all day. <laughs> How do you manage living in a place as expensive as Hawaii? Well, I kind of feel like Hawaii has a bad rep. I think people think it's like unattainable how expensive it is. But I think we really probably spend around a similar amount as somebody that lives on the mainland. So you just, I think with your activities here, you do a lot more free activities because there's so much to do outside, like surfing, hiking, going to the beach. Here we just have like lots of food trucks. At least we eat at like the food trucks. And Costco is like a lifesaver in Hawaii. So it's the same price as the mainland. Yeah. Nice. We survive by having decent rent and Costco. And then for fun, we just go to the beach. Yeah. It's a simple life, but a good life. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite part about living in Hawaii? Uh, I love everything about Hawaii. But I think my favorite part is just like the vibes here. People are so friendly. It's really relaxed and chill. And I 
just love like the environment and the low cost spirit. I love the weather and ocean. Mm -hmm. um, you just can't beat it. You love this so much. What are your typical meals? Every morning, we usually have an acai bowl when I go to Costco mm -hmm. and get that acai packet. We're so, acai addicts. Yeah, we eat a lot of acai <laughs> bowls, uh, which are so good. But we also eat a lot of guacamole, a lot of pasta. Yeah, I make some pretty good guacamole. I'm known for that. Gosh, no, kidding. She makes dang good guac. <laughs> um, but we also like Mexican food and Thai food, and there's some awesome Mexican and Thai food places here. So. We'll go, we go all the way and yeah. eat there because it's just so good. Yeah, yeah. I think if we're at home, probably like lots of salad, meat, and pasta. That's our. Those are our staples. <laughs> What's your workout routine? <laughs> well, I would say I'm definitely not a routine person, but I'm, I don't think I'm a lazy person either. So I think I just try and get outside every day, like surfing, hiking, swimming on the beach, like, I don't know. I just try and get outside and sometimes I'll do yoga in the morning, but I'm not like, I'm not like a crazy workout girl. <laughs> he has um, a routine though. He's a really good routine. <laughs> every morning I try to run about a mile and then I do three sets of like 40 push-ups and 40 sit-ups along with some yoga. And I'll do that three times, so 120 push-ups, 120 sit-ups. And if I do that every morning, I just feel super great on top of the world <laughs> and ready to go. So hashtag live like Josh. Seriously, every morning he does it, and I'm so inspired. But <laughs> I'm just so inspired as so, she lays in bed. I'm so inspired, and I'm like, I'll sleep. <laughs> so inspired. <laughs> What are your goals for this year? I think our number one goal is to start a family together and um, go grow our YouTube. This is our goal, to do a YouTube video every Tuesday, so subscribe yep. so we can achieve this goal and make YouTube videos. We do photo video retreats. We did one in Greece last year and we just did one in New Zealand. So we're thinking we want to do another one soon. So. So let us know if you want to come. Yeah, pretty much good goals. Yeah, goals. Goals, goals. Well, we hope you <laughs> like this video. I hope you could get to know us a little bit more. So like Lars said, we're going to be posting videos every Tuesday. So like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for videos you want to see us make, just leave a comment below. Yeah. and we'll look at your comments. Yeah, because we want to make what you want to see. And if you've watched this whole video, seriously, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys so much, and big virtual hug. <laughs> All right, well, we'll see you later.